Hi, I'm Whitney, and this is my second season as an America First Jazz Dancer. What was your reaction when you found out you'd be back this year? So trying out for the second season is so much pressure. There's so much pressure going into it, not only because you know what an amazing experience it is and you want it that much more, but also because you've been on it for a season and you feel like you're held to a little bit of a higher standard. And so getting or hearing my number called um, when I call that number is just not only relief, but it's just pure joy and so exciting. I remember I was laying on a bed when I got it and I just started jumping up and down on the bed. So it's such an exciting moment when you hear your number called. Outside of Jazz Dancers, what do you got going on? Are you in school, career? I teach full time. I teach uh, sophomore English at Bountiful High School and I also coach the cheerleaders over there. So they keep me busy and on my toes, but I love it. It's a great job. Favorite vacation spot? I actually went on my first cruise this last summer and it was so much fun. It take me to a beach and I'm a happy girl. So anywhere with a beach and clear blue water, I'm golden. Any musician, dead or alive, you can go see him live. Michael Jackson, that was on my bucket list to see him. I didn't care where I had to go or how much I had to pay to see him live. So all those people are lucky that got to see him. Favorite dessert? Anything with ice cream. I love ice cream. I don't care if it's the middle of winter. Ice cream is always a good idea. Have you always been a jazz fan? I have always been a jazz fan. When I was little, my grandpa used to watch the jazz games in his big recliner and I used to climb up on his lap and my grandma would make homemade popcorn and we'd eat it out of a grocery sack. And I just remember that that's some of my early, earliest childhood memories is watching the jazz games with my grandpa.